Hi, it's James from the Axire team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Axire's Cutting Edge Aesthetics AI tool to instantly identify your best and worst images from photo shoots or even from your entire Lightroom catalog. Basically, Xire's technology has been extensively trained by expert photographers using hundreds of thousands of images so that it can intelligently evaluate photos. And in fact, this AI technology of Xire's has been used as a judge in international photography competitions. Now, when evaluating an image, the software outputs an aesthetic score from 0 to 100, indicating exactly how aesthetically pleasing the image appears. And as I alluded to a moment ago, this can be extremely useful for quickly culling your images, and it can also be a great way to find your best photos, including some hidden gems, say, from deep within your Lightroom catalog. Now, the simplest way to work with the XIR aesthetic values is to make sure you're in the library module of Lightroom, then go ahead and click Library, plug in Extras, and then Search by Aesthetics. This allows you to access your most aesthetic photos or your least aesthetic photos instantly. Just choose the relevant item, most or least, and then tell Xire whether you want to search your whole catalog or just in the selected film strip. And then you can say the number of images you want Xire to display. And when you click Start, Xire software will use its aesthetic scores to pull up the images matching your search ranked from most aesthetic to least aesthetic. So if I want to see the 1,000 most aesthetic images in my catalog, I have catalog selected, I'm going to add 0 there to make that 1,000, and then I'll click Start Search. So here's what I get, all these images, and they are ordered by their aesthetic scores, so the best, and then getting increasingly less impressive. Now one quick aside here is that you'll want to make sure that your sort order down here is set to custom order, otherwise the images won't be ordered by their aesthetic scores. And I'll also add that you have the option to review the aesthetic scores XIR is applied to each photo directly. So if you have an image selected, you can go ahead and then just open this metadata panel on the right hand side. You make sure that all plugin metadata is selected here and then you're going to look for the aesthetic score. So here we have 94.75 and as I said that's out of 100. Now to ensure that Xire's aesthetic scores are always accessible and visible within Lightroom, when you initialize your images, so here under library plugin extras initialize photos, you're going to want to make sure that transfer aesthetic values after initialization is checked. Without this, you'll still be able to use the aesthetic score values by using that search by aesthetics feature I showed you, but the aesthetic scores won't actually appear in the metadata panel. And by the way, if you've already initialized your images and the transfer aesthetic values button was unchecked, don't worry, you can still just go ahead, say, library, plug in extras, and then you can say transfer aesthetic values here. Now the aesthetic score can be hugely useful for culling photos, for finding images for social media or printing, and so much more. Just bear in mind that photography is subjective, of course, and even world-class photographers do disagree about image aesthetics and quality. So if your aesthetic evaluation, that is your, your personal sense of what's good and what's not good, doesn't align with Xire's AI, that's completely okay. In other words, we want you to test out the Xire aesthetic search and then see how it works best for you.